Welcome to episode three of Coco from the Dark Podcast. So let's get to these messages. So dogs may be significant. I'm also hearing something about coffee. Something is ending. Some sort of big part of your life is coming to an end, coming to a close. Something is changing. Something is transforming. I'm picking something about charcoal. So you could be doing something with grilling, starting a fire. Also, I'm picking up on the message of a lump of coal. There may be some naughty energy around you. Oh, something about a, um, a vacation. Where did it go? Hold on. I'm picking, I'm picking up on some sort of big shift in your energy. I'm feeling like there is like some past life karma that's coming in for you. If this is not, if you like, if you don't believe in past lives, this is like some karma that you have like been, pl you planted some sort of seed and you've been watering it. You've been nurturing it. And now like, I'm hearing that it, it it's come to like full fruition and you're about to like see the, you're about to reap the benefits of whatever this energy is. And for some of you, there's some sort of vacation that you've been saving for or planning for or working towards. Something about Christmas. I just heard the day after Christmas sale. I'm, I'm seeing some, some sort of celebration in your energy. There is some sort of promotion or some sort of I don't know. I'm getting, I keep picking up on like this new energy, some sort of new level, something new coming into your energetic space, your energetic field. It feels like it's something that you took a chance on. It's something that you had been wanting to do for a while and you finally took a chance on it. And you didn't see any type of, you didn't see anything come about whatever this was at the beginning. That's because it needed time to grow. It needed time to grow to a space where the energy that you put into it is going to match the energy that you get back. I feel like maybe you weren't expecting anything in return or maybe after a while you stopped expecting something in return. But I feel like some sort of decision that you made, some sort of leap of faith that you took is going to pay off in a large way, in a big way, a big, beautiful way is what I'm hearing. I feel like um, some of you are going to be getting some sort of phone call, some some sort of um, incoming message, an email a letter, something in a P.O. box, something, something, some sort of offer is coming in for you. Some sort of communication is coming in for you. I'm hearing to take your time. You can either, I say three, 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 you can either, this could either be a message of taking your time with responding or this could be a message with uh, taking your time so that you don't fall into this energy of imposter syndrome there's some sort of big offer three four five on the clock there's some sort of big offer that's gonna come in it's not it's like it's like I, I feel like you've been expecting something or you've been hoping for something and when it comes in it's gonna scare you it's like you be careful what you ask for type of energy like you wanted something to come in for you 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 were hoping something came in for you and when it comes in it's going to be bigger than you expected it to be so it's it's gonna it's gonna take some adjusting it's gonna take for you to uh, adjust your mindset to adjust how you think of yourself there's going to be the, like this test of loyalty to you loyalty to, to to your dreams loyalty to whatever it is that you're asking for it's going to take for you to it's like a, a test of faith in yourself i just heard conquering demons 
I feel like if you need assistance with anything, speak to your spirit team, speak to your higher self, whatever higher power it is that you call to for assistance and guidance. I feel like this is a time to connect with that energy. This is most definitely time to be like connecting with the self connecting with the most high meditating getting out in nature and grounding i feel like there's this energy of like being at the last leg of something that you've been working towards or or wishing towards and um it's like it's it's in the space of the last leg right like the finish line and you know it when you get close to the finish line when you see that finish line it's time to like throw everything you got left all the energy you have left into this thing so you can finish strong i'm picking up on that type of energy needing to finish strong win win i'm all i do is win 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 no matter what got money on my mind i can never get enough and every time i step up in the building everybody has go up I, I feel like there's some sort of like celebration in your energy there's some sort of so i'm picking up on an energy of needing to celebrate the self i'm picking up on the energy of wanting others to celebrate you especially those closest to you but i also feel like there is going to be like people celebrating you that they're they're going to be new to your your 3d reality they're not going to be new to your energetic feel like you've been feeling this you've been feeling energies around you or you've been feeling like I, I i just get this feeling that you have come to a, a, a space where you don't feel alone and you don't feel alone because you're not alone even if you may be alone like if you, in your in your reality you may be alone but you're not alone there are always protective and loving energies around you I feel like you're going to be connecting with them more or needing to connect with them more. Something about um, an altar space for your spirit team or for yourself. Some sort of space where you meditate or connect, needing to create this space in your home or in your office. I feel like there are some people in your energy that need your healing. I'm, I'm picking up on this message of you, I don't know, you made some sort of move that benefited others in a positive way. Sevens, you know, sevens have been significant anyway, but you've made some sort of, um, you've touched someone or someone's in a very positive way. And I feel like there is some sort of, there's this energy of cosmic repayment in, in your space, in your energetic field. Something about the family space. Something about the month of August. 2021 may have been a significant year for you. I'm feeling like some of you started a family in that year. Or left a family structure there was some sort of uh, change in the family dynamic either in the month of august or in the year of 2021 or you know any time before that i'm here for some of you you may have a baby on the way now have a baby by me baby and be a millionaire hey. <laughs> There is something that is very divinely protected that's coming in for you. I'm picking up on a message that it's something that you you did not like pray for this. You haven't worked towards this, but there is some sort of thing I'm hearing. There's some sort of thing that's coming in for you that your heart asked for this thing. Your heart craved this thing. You know how... Um, I think it's in the Bible. Don't quote me though. But there's there's like this scripture about like God doesn't judge you by the things that you do or, or what you say or anything like that. God judges you by your heart. I feel like that that message is coming up for this thing that is coming in for you. It's like an, an energetic match to how 
golden I'm hearing how golden your heart is how big your heart is it's gonna fill you up hey we'd love to hear that I just heard quality and comfort magical quality I feel like there's something that you 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 manifested positive energy like some sort of magnetic energy and it's like the magnet on you is so big it's bringing in something so big i like see somebody y'all yeah, remember on uh, uh bruce almighty when jim carrey um lassoed the moon and pulled the moon closer that's the, that's the type of magnetic energy that you have you you your heart space lassoed something so huge and it's it's coming in for you energetically without you having to do anything or much of anything to bring it in it's like a gift from the universe a gift from the most high that's coming in for you okay confirmation okay so let's get to the love messages i feel like a lot of um i feel a lot of energy surrounding me during this reading it feels like there are so many messages coming in or trying to come in i don't know i just feel a lot of energy so there may be this 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 energetic field around you or you needing to place some sort of protection around you to protect your energy especially when this this thing comes in it's going to bring in th this thing is going to be positive but it's going to bring in a lot of i'm hearing like envious type of energies a lot of contradictory type of energies so it's going to take for you to like remain vigilant with keeping your energy protected. But I'm also picking up on that th there is a lot of abundance around you. There's a lot of magnetic. Oh, wow. Y'all. Your love message is it's safe for you to love again. There, both of them came out. Y'all know, I, I, I don't know if, if you've been rocking with me for a minute, you know, I got two decks two of the same decks together if you're new here welcome well you know <laughs> but if you're new here um i have two decks two of the same decks and one um for confirmation and you know and things like that and both of them came out like th this feels like a very safe time for love to come in for you you know they say it's cuffing season it's the end of the year i just i see one two three four on the clock it's cuffing season so there's going to be energies coming in for you to um show you love to give you love some of these energies just want to come in just for like the holidays you know they, they're not coming in for a long time they're coming in for a good time but um others of these energies feel like they just want someone to depend on they want somebody to to love them the way that they put love out into the universe so I feel like this need to discern the people that come into your energy for like love, your suitors, you know, things like that. But also to be open to love. Don't judge a book by its cover. When I said welcome and I kind of hesitated, I don't like to say welcome. So I don't even know why it came out like that. That's what like it's like this 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 energy is there's an energy in the space in your energetic field that wants to throw you off from something wants to throw you off from some sort of um i'm hearing positive fulfillment so you're gonna need to like be mindful of what you say um be mindful of the energy you put out and be mindful of the energy that you accept in but I feel like there's this need for you to be willing to be authentic with someone, to be your, you know, full self, not hold back, not be afraid. I'm hearing no holds barred, but to be open, be open to love. We pay attention to any red flags that may arise, but we use our discernment with that because a lot of times there is this energy of self-sabotage this energy of like um negative negativity wanting to keep you from positivity 
And sometimes this could be your higher self, not your higher self, uh, uh, other forms of yourself that want to protect you, but they're being overly protective. Like a, a part of you is being overly protective of your energy. And that's why it's called self-sabotage. It's being overly protective because, you know, you don't want to feel that hurt, that pain again. So there's this energy of this message of needing to be mindful of the energy that you allow in the energy that you put out and being mindful of healing healing through the things that trigger you the healing through the things that have um given you anxiety and then this is at the bottom of the deck so releasing your ex releasing past connections that no longer serve your highest good and moving forward so I pray that this message was helpful for you. Drink your water, connect with those emotions, and I send you so much love and light. Namaste.